it's it's sort of like a bit of a last sort of wilderness in the world because it is such a dry desert area people don't live here by their thousands but nature does nature has found a way like the lions and all the other animals have found a way to live here so it's it's the real nature and that to me is probably what i find so so fascinating about the area Hi Olivia, Hi. nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, this is the, the sort of brain center really of the, the Lion Research Project. I'd actually really like you to meet um, Felix, who's a good friend of mine. Um, and he's been helping the project hugely and he's Hello. actually French How are you? as well. Oh. So. <laughs> hey, bonjour. Bonjour. Ça là? Fantastic. So you, that's the type of a color that you're putting? This is, you won't believe it, how important this is. It's basically helped the project incredibly to understand how the lines move and so on. So, Felix, thank you very much. This is such thank a great you. contribution. In fact, it's you who financed it, right? Yes, it's not me directly. It's the tourist Namibians who have been reunited in a few years suite à à des lions qui ont été empoisonnés dans le nord-ouest et on s'est tous rendu compte que si on voulait conserver ces lions qui sont d'une part très précieux pour la biodiversité mais aussi pour l'industrie touristique on devait contribuer au, au projet et aider, des, et aider des personnes comme Flip à, à suivre, étudier et protéger ces, ces lions et en créant une association à but non lucratif on peut réunir des fonds chez les touristes aider les scientifiques qui vont communiquer avec les locaux pour donner les positions des lions et anticiper les conflits it is hugely important. I mean, I don't think Felix and a lot of the tour operators really appreciate the value of what they are doing towards the conservation of not only lions, but, but wildlife in this area. We in Namibia have found a way that people can live with wildlife. Um, you know, through the development of the conservancies and the local people getting involved. And, work of IRDNC and so many organizations um, and the local people taking an interest um, in their environment and, and feeling the need to, to protect it because they can see the value in it, which is a fantastic thing. And, and, and we're very fortunate yeah, in this area in particular, and, and Namibia is a bit of a leader in, in the world in, in, that, in the context of community-based conservation. They form the, the top of the pyramid, of the ecological pyramid. So in a sense, if we can conserve the lions and if they are doing well, we can almost be sure that everything else below them, the antelope, the springbok, the vegetation, the grasses, will all be okay. These are the feeds that I got from this morning. So we basically got two animals that are quite close together. Um, the other thing that um, I then also do is to plot this information on a, a page that I created, which helps the local communities with the livestock that live in the area to know when the lions come close to help uh, prevent conflict that lions actually kill the livestock. We actually, we are having Nine lion, which is living in Puros. So the blue yeah. cross is just for the lioness okay. from the Congo for the two days ago. Okay. Yeah. And the cross right here is the position of today on the seven o'clock, which is for 20 kilometers. That's why we tell the, the, the owner of the cattle, I mean to inform them that lions are closer on the river, so they have to be aware of the, their cattle. Okay. Yeah. Also. Thanks to that, you managed to prevent the accident between yeah. the lions and yeah. the cattle. Mm. Mm. Well, the, f the future of the lions are, it, it is looking good, um, but we're not out of danger because it, it's a very small population of 150 animals. Um, so you don't, there's not a lot of depth, but um, it, it's really looking good. Uh, the development of communal conservancies, 
the involvement of local people, the development of tourism, the formation of tour operators organizing themselves like a Tosco as an organization and the contribution that that's making to, to ensuring a, a really sound, viable uh, conservation effort involving tourism, local people is incredible. But we need to keep at it because it can go wrong if we don't, if we don't keep on doing the right thing. But at the moment, people are doing the right thing and the animals are responding well and we have a very good situation.